is Mark Daniel. I will be your host for the evening. We've got a great night planned for you. We want you guys to eat, be merry, and remember, you are voting for your favorite burger. We've got great music from our DJ, and very soon on stage, we are going to have a live band. You, yes, yes, it's going to be fantastic, and I want to give a big shout out to our Noshpit down there. You guys doing okay? Got VIP area? Very good. And speaking of VIPs, we cannot have a rockin' burger block party without a VIP chef. So right now we want to bring her out on the stage so she can say hi really quick on stage. So she is an executive chef. She is an author and she's a celebrity chef on Chop on Food Network. Please welcome to the stage, Manette Juwan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Disney? Oh my god. It doesn't get any better than this. My dream just came true. Yeah, it did, right? Now, Completely. Chef Manet, you are here and you are kicking off the official first night of this event. How does it feel right now? Very special. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the first time that I'm visiting Disney and I'm kicking myself that why haven't I done this before? Right. So it is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's amazing to meet all the people over here. Uh -huh. And yeah, it's so much fun. Now, Chef Monique, we're going to bring you on stage after the band comes off, so we can meet you a little bit more, talk about your background and everything like that. But before we do that, I'm impressed by you right now, because you could have just come and hung out, said hi to people, but you're kind of like working tonight, right? Because you have a featured burger here tonight. Yes, we do. Right over there. Mm -hmm. It's a chicken and a mushroom burger, and of course it's got Indian spices in it. Um, it's delicious. Uh, not because I have to say it, because it is. You agree with me, right? Yes. Right. Woohoo! Um, and it's, it's fun. It's a lot of different textures. Um, it's spicy, sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not only that, we have a lot of amazing chefs with a lot of different gourmet burgers. Let's talk about how people are going to be voting, okay? Now, here's how you're going to be voting for your favorite burger. Everybody got a menu, and on that menu is a guitar pick right there. Now, as you walk around later on in the night, when you settle on what you believe to be your favorite burger, you will take that guitar pick off, and Chef Monique, what will you do with that pick? What will you do you with it? You take the pick, and you will go to my station and drop it in the <laughs> No, this is a democracy. Uh, really? When did that happen? Um, no, I mean, there are some amazing burgers over here, so please go and vote for your favorite burger. I am honored to be working with some incredible chefs over here, and I'm dying to try their burger. Yeah, now what yeah, my, my station is right over right there, over and there. the goal is on the left side of the station. The left side of the stage, at, at a hip level, so it's very easy to vote. We spare, yeah, we made it very comfortable in a chair. I think there's a recliner. And back massages. Yes, exactly. I just put that in. I'm exactly. Sure not, right not. next to the Mai Tai. <laughs> right, I see, I see. Fantastic. Now, let's talk about this. Now, people are walking around, they're eating. I'm sure they're hungry. But they are voting for their favorite gourmet burger. You are a professional. Do you have any tips on how you can maybe cleanse your palate or pacing? What would you do? I, I mean, there's so many delicious bites around here. I would suggest taking a bite. Mm -hmm. and and probably having some water in between before you try the next burger so that you don't muddle the flavors. Gotcha, so make sure you just a bite, drink some water, and make sure you do that so you don't muddle the flavors like you said. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, well, thank you very much, Chef Manit. Now, we're going to talk to you a little bit later on. I'm sure people want to head over there, take pictures with you, and say hi to you. So, once again, another round of applause for Chef Manit Chowan. She'll be coming back a little later thank on. You. Thank you. Thank you very much, and good luck to all the chefs out there. Now, folks, we're going to keep this thing moving right now. We're going to keep it rocking, so it's time to fire up the grill. Let's show how the cook can sing. You guys still having a great time? Fantastic. How are the burgers? Good? How are the drinks? How's the music? All right. I'm glad you're having a good time. All right, now, folks, it is time for us to get to know our celebrity chef a little bit better. So I'd like to welcome her back to the stage. She's an executive chef, an author, a TV personality. She's appeared on The Next Iron Chef and Iron Chef America, and is a featured judge on Chopped on the Food Network. Please welcome back to the stage once again, Manit Chuan. So amazing. <laughs> they are good. You know what, but um, let's get right into this. We talked to you earlier on, and you said it's your first time here at Walt Disney World, right? So I'm going to ask you a question. Have you been able to go out to the parks and uh, have fun? 
Yesterday we were there uh, for the Halloween uh, parade, which was just amazing. Mickey's not so scary. Yes. Mickey's not uh, not so scary, and uh, of course, I think I don't know who was more excited: my 18-month-old, my five-year-old, or me. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> now, you know who was the most uh, ill-behaved? You. <laughs> kids. Your kids, of course, of course, the kids, the kids. Yeah. Now I'll ask you another question. Do you have a favorite treat when you come to Walt Disney World? You know, do you like have you gotten a chance to try the Dole Whip or the pretzels or the churros? Do you have a favorite? You know what? I am dying to to start that process of eating everything which comes in front of me. Huh. And then I, I know that next year I will I will know what my favorite is going to be. So you know to go right to it. Oh absolutely. Yeah, what would anybody what would you recommend that she try first? Dole Whip, Dole Whip. Try the Dole Whip, all done, right? Done. done. Absolutely. Dole Whip, pineapple ice cream, and you know it can have a little kick to it. Nice. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean oh, when yes. I say kick? Absolutely. Okay, very nice. Okay, you know. Now let's talk about your career. Now you started your culinary journey at a very young age in your homeland of India. So what led you to take that path? I love eating. Mm -hmm. Nothing has changed. <laughs> I loved eating, and I think that was what what it was all about. Mm -hmm. Just eating amazing, delicious food, and um, and just seeing the amount of joy it got to people's faces when they ate something which was delicious, and that's the look that I try to strive for in each and every dish that I make. That that look of wow. That is now now. Did, it, did your mom and dad cook? What did you? Uh, when does your family cook a lot? Where does that come from? We, we grew up in this really small, um, we used to call it colony, in a small locality in uh -huh. India. And each and every state in India has a very distinct cuisine of its own. So I would finish dinner at home, go to my neighbor's place and tell them that mom hasn't given me anything to eat. So then I <laughs> eat at your place. Uh -huh. And I would see them cook. Uh -huh. And that's how literally it started. So when, it, when they say it takes a village uh -huh. uh, to raise a child, it also takes a village to make a chef. Uh -huh. Wow. So, yeah. Now, speaking of chef, you are an amazing chef. I mean, you've gotten rave reviews from magazines like Oprah Magazine, Newsweek Magazine, Time Magazine. Can you share with us one of your most proud moments in your career? Oh my God. I think the most, <laughs> my proudest moment was when I was, um, I was invited to the White House to do uh, a demo um, uh, for uh, the Easter egg roll. And my sous chef was my then three-year-old, and um, so he was sous chef was a three-year-old. My three, yeah, my three-year-old, and um, you know, somebody asked my daughter that, "Do you want to be a chef when you grow up?" And she's like, "No." Like, what would you like to be? I would like to be a princess. I'm like, wow, I wish I knew that that was a career choice. I think now coming to Disney, well, yeah. that is a career it, it choice, happen. right? Happen, right? Yes, so yeah, my, my proudest moment was that moment. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, now, you are a, a, a celebrity judge on Chopped, and so I have a question. What do you look for in an aspiring chef? What is that spark that you see? Um, the dedication and... Um, in the end of the day, it's all about the attitude. Uh, there are some people who come and they're like, oh, we know everything. And that's not a great uh, attitude to have to learn things. I am learning, I'm learning amazing things every day. I mean, I learn from everybody that I meet. And I think that, that thirst to constantly learn, to perfect your uh, trade, I think is, is what makes a chef amazing. And you are very amazing. Let's talk about, you are an award-winning chef, TV personality, and you talked about your kids. What's it like being a mom cooking for the kids? Oh my God, <laughs> um, you know what? I will cook for 5,000 people uh, at the back of an island, um, as opposed to cooking for my two kids, yeah. They are, um, my husband is the one who actually patiently cooks with both the kids. I, when I cook, I'm like, boom, 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 because it's my profession. I'm uh, constantly, I'm like, let's get this done. Uh, and he's like, very slowly, he's like, okay, now put the garlic in. And so they love to cook with him more than they love to cook with me. Yeah, you just get it done. Did you know it? Hey, this is it, it's gonna let's be good. Let's get it done. <laughs> let's put the dinner on the table. Yeah. Um, I wanna ask another question. Let's talk about uh, your burger. Very different. Uh, and it's a healthy choice. Talk about the ingredients in your burger. 
so um, we have made a chicken burger and the amazing part about this burger is you can replace the chicken with uh, turkey if you want um, or of course uh, beef, lamb, whatever, that's, that's your choice. Um, I have replaced around 25% of the burger with mushrooms. So it is, uh, they are wild roasted mushrooms, there's some chanterelles in it and that makes it a much healthier choice as opposed to regular burgers. So a uh, healthier burger. Um, and is this, will this be a, a choice also in your restaurant? Let's talk about your restaurants. You have, you're opening a few new restaurants in Nashville. Can you tell us a little bit about so, that? Um, uh, the restaurant that we have in Nashville right now is called Chohan Elin Masala House. It's a really fun, Indian-inspired uh, restaurant. We serve uh, beers from our brewery, um, which is my husband Vivek's baby. It's called Mantra Artisanal Ales. And I, of course, have to brag for a minute, but Please do. us to travel just voted our Saffron and Cardamom IPA as one of the eight best beers worldwide. Say that one more time. Very I don't bad. think everybody heard that. <laughs> one more time. Nashville. There is a direct flight to Nashville. <laughs> a red eye. <laughs> exactly. So um, that's, that's the exciting part. We're opening two other restaurants. Um, we love Nashville. We moved to Nashville and we've fallen in love with Nashville and there are some culinary gaps in the Nashville uh, culinary tapestry. And one is a good Chinese restaurant, so we are, calling, uh, we are opening a restaurant called Tansuo, which means to explore in uh, Mandarin, and a global diner concept called the Mockingbird. Wow, fantastic. So you are spreading out. Trying, oh, trying. All right. Well, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. I want to say good luck on your burger as people vote for it. Thank Once you. again, right over here is where it's going to be. Well, thank you very much, and I'm sure people want to meet you again and take fantastic photos. So thank you very much again. Thank you so Chef much. Anit Chowan. Thank you very much, Chef. All right. Now, once again, we want to remind you guys, make sure you vote for your favorite burgers. Once again, you're going to be voting using your pick, your guitar pick. When you find your favorite burger, you're going to put it in the little uh, bowl that's next to the certain station of your favorite burger. And you see what we did there, right? Guitar pick, because you're picking your favorite burger. So it's a... Okay. Well, this is what's up for grabs. So somebody will be walking away with this amazing prize. So don't forget to vote for your favorite burger. And we've got more music. Again, American Marshall will be on a little later on. But right now, let's keep it going with DJ Elliot. What you guys think, huh? Did you feel this was a rockin' burger block party? Fantastic. Well, you guys have voted. First of all, before we uh, announce who the winner is, how about a round of applause for all the chefs and their teams? I made my way around and I ate as much as I could. All the burgers were fantastic and I love the, the energy of the chefs and their teams working together. Really excited about what they brought. So, we're going to announce the winners. The votes are in, so please welcome back to the stage, Celebrity Chef Manit Chuan. The winner. All right. Yes. Uh, all right. So they voted, and the votes are in. So maybe we'll let you do the honors to announce the winner of the first Rock and Burger Block Party. All right. I don't even have to open it. You don't even have to open it. Yeah. You know who it is already. Yeah. You, you know who it is. Of course you it is. already. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, it's my awesome team right over. Right over there. <laughs> and I would like to thank my cat and my dog. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Let me get the award over here. All right. Oh everybody. my God. How awesome is this? Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. Okay. So this is a trip of firsts for me, mm -hmm. right? Right. It's the first time that I've come to Disney. Welcome. It's the first time that I'm going to win or lose at Disney, <laughs> right? <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, shall we? Let's do it. Do, 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 do. Drum roll, please. Okay, and the winner is <laughs> Deluxe Burger, Chef Bill Brown. See, I was telling 
stuff. There you go. I'm gonna let you pass it over to her. There it is, you got it? Perfect. Get this perfect. Congratulations, I'm in deep fried green tomatoes. You're crazy, man. That's amazing. You can't beat that. Oh my god, no, you can't. That's absolutely delicious. Congratulations. Cheers to your team. Fantastic. Now, uh, Chef Bill, would you like to say a few things to your team and everything? Yes, congratulations. Just, just want to take a moment to thank all the team for coming out. Uh, we brought out both our front of the house crew and our heart of the house crew to uh, really provide you guys a great burger and enjoy being out here. And thank you very much for voting. Woo! Let's get you guys, let's get you guys right over here, everyone, get a good photo. Uh, come on over, everyone, like, get a photo. Where's the official, where's the photo pass? Where's the official photo pass? There we go, okay, there we go, okay, perfect. Come on in, guys, everybody, come on up. Perfect. Get in, come on in, everybody. Now, the Lux Burger is at Disney Springs, correct? Yes, it is. It is at Disney Springs. Thank you very much. Thank you. And once again, congratulations to Bill and his team from Deluxe oh, Burger. Congratulations! Fantastic. Now, um, Chef Manit, tomorrow you're doing something. So if you're still attending the Food and Wine Festival, they can meet you in the Festival Center tomorrow at 11? 11. 11. 11, 11 to 11. 30. 11 to 11. Very quick. 30 minutes. Very quick. All right. So you can only meet her at that time. Yes. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how about another big round of applause for Chef Manit Chuan? Thank you very much. All right. Oh, it was a pleasure to meet you. Same here. All right. And you know what? When I'm in Nashville, I know where I'm going. Not when. <laughs> when are you in Nashville? Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Well, thank you for, very much for joining us. We'd like to thank American Marshall. We'd like to thank... DJ Elliot, we thank all of you guys for coming out here. And once again, I want to remind you that the Rocking Burger, Rocking Burger Block Party will be continuing on October 14th and November 11th. And tomorrow, right here, we will have changed the whole room around. We're going to have Party for the Census on October 1st, October 8th, October 15th, and October 22nd. And very unique, we will feature the best of Party for the Census during our Yellowween Masquerade Party on October 28th and October 29th. Once again, thank you very much. My name is Mark Daniel. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for your votes. And thank you to the chefs and all their teams. Good night.